If you're using this to make mashed potatoes, you're doing it all wrong. Want to find out how to do it right so you get the creamiest, fluffiest mashed potatoes you've ever had? Let's do this. To me, there are three keys to amazingly creamy mashed potatoes, and the first is potato choice. So when you're in the grocery store, what do you buy? Well, my go-to all-purpose potato is the Yukon Gold, sometimes called a yellow flesh potato. I'm Canadian, happen to be a Canadian invention, so I'm pretty proud of it. But it's a really good all-purpose potato. These are good for roasting, for french fries, or for mashed potatoes. I am going to peel them first and cut each one in half, just to kind of speed things up a little bit. The potatoes are in cold water now. That's a great way to start them off. And I just use regular iodized table salt whenever I'm cooking vegetables. And I add quite a bit. This is about gonna be about a one and a half teaspoons, maybe even two teaspoons of salt in here. That's because you really need to season potatoes quite aggressively. They're pretty bland on their own. And if you don't salt the water, you kind of lose your chance to get a really delicious potato flavor in there. So once these are in here and the water is salted, I'm just going to cover it up, bring it to a boil, and then reduce and simmer until they're nice and tender. These potatoes have been cooking for about 20 minutes. They're nice and tender now. The way to test that is just to take a sharp knife and to poke it into one, it should just fall right off the knife. Perfect. Okay. Now the third key to incredibly creamy mashed potatoes, and this could be the most important one. You might be surprised, it's not tons of cream or butter, it's actually the ricer. So this is the thing that is going to both activate the starch of the potatoes and aerate the potatoes and make them totally lump-free and incredibly creamy. These things are about 40 bucks, and I'm telling you, even if you only make mashed potatoes twice a year, it is worth the investment. The technology here is pretty simple. It's a little uh, cup. I'm gonna put the potato in there and then I'm gonna squish it through into a mixing bowl. I can usually fit two potato halves per squish. So these are already now fluffy and totally smooth. All I'm gonna do is add a little bit of butter and some cream just to add flavor and to kind of add to the creaminess. But just putting them through the ricer, it, it's miraculous. Like it makes them the creamiest mashed potatoes you've ever had. It's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna add some cream. Use whatever cream you've got in the house. I usually have whipping cream, <laughs> lucky me. Uh, just cause I don't really put cream in my coffee. You could also just use milk and then a little bit of butter. Massively important to taste these. I did salt the water uh, and I do use salted butter, but potatoes are notoriously thirsty for salt. So I just need to make sure that there's enough in there. Nope, still need salt. Mmm, perfect. Oh, just, just one more taste, just to make sure. Mm. I, I just didn't make this my dinner. This is so delicious. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put these in a serving bowl. I'm gonna have it nicely warmed. I'm gonna just run it under some hot water under the tap and then dry it out um, because potatoes tend to cool down pretty quickly. So if I'm taking them to the table, I even want the bowl to be warm so they don't cool down at all. A bowl of the creamiest mashed potatoes you ever made. Honestly, I could just eat this for dinner. It looks so good. For the full recipe and the method, just click the link below. And if you love carbs as much as I do, I hope that you've made my no need bread because it is just as simple and equally delicious. Oh, I'm doing a bunch of holiday recipes coming up. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell, all right? You're not gonna wanna miss all that good stuff. Oh, life is complicated, but you know, cooking shouldn't be. Happy cooking.